Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video we're going to be unboxing and reviewing a 60% mechanical keyboard set. This includes a mouse pad, a keyboard, as well as a honeycomb mouse. All of this is wired and it does retail for about $60 on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description. They also have more variants available. They have blue switches in different colors. They have red switches in different colors and they also have black switches. So depending on which one you want, it's going to suit you for sure. To it. So on the back of the box, as you can see, it just has three in one, three in one, gaming keyboard, mouse, and mouse pad. Wow, really nice. So here we have the mouse pad, just a typical mouse pad. It actually looks pretty cool. Let's check out the mouse. So it says RGB, and then you just have some information on how to program it and stuff. Here's the mouse. Really clicky. Wow, this is, this is actually a pretty good mouse. Look, I'm barely pressing it and it's going pretty fast. That's pretty cool. So definitely really good for gaming. It's really lightweight. All right, let's get into the keyboard. This is the MK14, 68 keys. So here's the keyboard. Put it aside for a second. Right here we have a user manual. Underneath, you have your typical power cable. Okay, this, this cable is actually really, really thick. I like this one. Uh, it's not gold plated, but it has a velcro strap for cable management. Pretty cool. Right here you have a keycap puller. It's plastic. I don't recommend using it unless you want to scratch your keycaps. So here's the keyboard. Really nice. On the back, ooh, okay. You have some rubber stops as well as a kickstand. You rarely see that, but that's really helpful. We're going to do a quick sound test of it now. All right, so that was a quick sound test. Uh, it doesn't, it's not, you can hear the springs in it, so it's obviously it's way cheaper than it actually is. But once again, this is a three-in-one bundle, so I'm not gonna really complain about it. Uh, RGB on this, we're gonna test it out in a bit. We're gonna start off with the 60% keyboard, but don't wanna pay like 200 bucks for one or 100 bucks in a budget, obviously. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use the little honeycomb mouse now. Got the honeycomb mouse in here. Pretty sure you should be able to, yep. The RGB comes on when you press the DPI button. Not too sure why it's flashing. I think it'll just automatically stop. The RGB doesn't, doesn't look good. Just for a comparison, this is a diffused better one. Uh, I don't know if it'll stop on the color, but as you can see, it's not that good of lighting. Not that diffused. Plugging it in now. Really nice animation, pretty smooth. Unlike the other one I just did a video of, um, it actually has screen lock and all this. This is really helpful for beginners. Uh, so as you can see, turn it on and off like this. Should be able to change the modes somewhere here. Oh, that's, that's a smooth animation. That's a really smooth animation. I love that. Actually, no user manual, so I'm just gonna go ahead and press like pretty much every button I can. So, okay. Oh, we found the button. <laughs> so it's FN and Tab to change the modes. This one's like a a random. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Just a random rainbow effect. This one. Ooh. Okay, I've never seen that. That's pretty cool. Nothing happens. Oh, okay. That's okay. That, I actually like that one. So these are pretty interesting modes I've never seen before. That one I've seen, it's a wave effect. I'm pretty sure you could change the color by doing this. Yep. So you can change the color like that. I'm pressing FN and page down. There we go, let's do another one. Oh, that's really cool. It's like a hacker mode, you know, when the digits go down or the coding. We have more effects here, really cool red that one's nice it's like my ready one that's really cool so the transitions of the color is really smooth i believe this is just a solid one so you can go all solid one color and then this one's an actual rainbow effect it's going like a from out to in and then okay we have 
like a little wave, a fast wave, I think, like a breathing kind of. This one's like a wave now. <laughs> okay. Let's go and slow this down. Oh, this one moves the direction, so you can go to the right or to the left. And what does this do? Really cool. Change the direction. Oh, it's like a it's like a fan. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go and change the color. It's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but trust me, these look really cool. And we're back to normal. So that's a lot of modes. A lot more than any other keyboard I've tried, but I'm not too sure if this one has a program in it, so you can be able to do it customized however you want it to be. But overall, I actually am surprised how good this keyboard is. Uh, like the typing on it, let's go ahead and test it out with the mouse. I can't do gameplay of it, sadly. Okay, it's at a really high DPI. Let's go ahead and slow it. So green is the slowest, pink is slightly faster, blue is faster, red is faster. Cyan is the fastest, yellow. Okay, yellow is the fastest. Green is the slowest. I'm probably gonna try it on the purple. Okay, I don't like this keyboard. Um, the space bar, I hate the space bar. Belt sound really good. The space bar, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna try to fix it, but Make it sound better, probably lube it, because uh, it does not sound good. To hold, I uh, hate that infrared, that's super old. Super old, it doesn't have an opt optical sensor, and you can see it through the honeycomb, so it's a really cheap. The only value you're getting out of this is would be the keyboard. So if you wanna pay 60 bucks for this keyboard, you can. Uh, obviously it's a starter mouse, so if you wanna try it out, then yeah. And then the mouse pad, obviously, which I'm not going to try because I'm pretty sure it's it's going to work, obviously. I'm going to give this a solid 4 out of 5 because it is a starter kit. So on the budget side, um, it's not perfect. There's a lot of flaws. Oh, yeah, this bundle passes. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.